G'day folks, Damon from Nomad. I'm gonna talk you through how to rig the flying fish with a variety of options that are generally intended for kite fishing. We've also found this quite effective if you're slow trolling, maybe you know, long shotgun position on a rigger, um, but basically how to use the channel on the top of the body for a variety of rigging options. So I'm gonna start with the large 280 model with the large 12 o hook. So the 12 o hook comes in the uh, pack. The treble at the back, that's an optional extra. We've just put that on to show you how you can rig it. So the idea here is that the 12 o hook actually locks in. So there's a channel that goes along the top of the body that's molded in and the hook actually sits in that channel. And as you can see, it's got a little bit of movement there, but it can't really move around very much. The channel is there to keep the hook facing upwards and we've got a couple of rubber bands that secure the hook so it can't move around too much. And we've got a little stopper at the front here. So the green stopper comes in the kit and the eyelet here is basically what goes up to the kite or up to your shotgun rigger, however you wanna do it. So uh, it can obviously free slide then and the eyelet keeps the flying fish connected to your leader, but your hooks can run free. So got this treble just rigged up with a, a crimp onto the eyelet of the large single. And that is pretty much your flying fish. So as you can see, very natural, realistic look from underneath. The whole point of this rig is that when you know the tuna uh, see it from underneath, just looks like a real flying fish on the surface. Uh, we've got the realistic looking wings and they can't see any of the hooks on top. So, you know, the uh, treble, the single, they can all move around once you've hooked the fish and the flying fish can slide up the leader. So extremely effective rigging. You choose what you want to do with the treble. You can also add another single on the back here if you want to. Some guys are liking just putting an extra single on. Um, you can rubber band the treble so it's underneath if you want to do that. There's a whole bunch of ways you can do it. So have a play around, decide what you like doing with the extra hook at the back, but you can get that big hook locked in and you're good to go. So the other option to show you to lock in a hook on this channel on the top of the body is the rig here that I'm using on the 200. So what I've got here is the hook that comes with the uh, 200 size kit. Now, the other thing that you get in the kit is this little bit of plastic tubing. You can just cut that off to whatever length you need, thread the tubing on. Now, the cool thing here is that the um, tubing actually locks in. So you can just put that in, push it in, and that is completely locked in place. It's not going anywhere, that is not gonna come out, um, and you're pretty much ready to fish. So that hook, you know, fish comes and grabs it, the hook comes out, can pull free, and the flying fish can slide up away from the hook and you're, you're connected to the fish. So that's a really, really effective way to fish it. It just really depends what size hook you wanna fish uh, for what species you're chasing, what size leader. So we've given you the two different options here. You've got the clear tube that you can put over the hook if it's a thinner gauge hook that locks it in. If you're using a really big, heavy hook on you know this 280 size, uh, there's the clear rubber bands that come in the kit or you can use your own rubber bands. Obviously they're just rubber bands, um, but those rubber bands will lock that hook in place as well. So you've got yourself set up here so that you know whichever style of hook or leader or whatever you want to do, um, you can rig that up and it's going to stay in place. It's not going to move around and you can really just choose, you know, whatever hook options and leader options you want for the style of fishing that you're doing. 